Hi guys, what's up, Jason here, and welcome back to a brand new FIFA 18 player review on my channel. So in today's video, guys, I'm going to be reviewing 88 rated Robin Van Persie. So in order to get this card, all that you need to do is submit two um, St. Patrick Day's players, and in order to get those cards, what you need to do, you need to complete some of the weekly objectives, and then in return, you do get the St. Patrick's Day cards. And then using those cards, you can commit two of them into the Robin Van Persie SBC, what results in you getting this card. And you, so you're basically getting it for free if you you are able to complete the weekly objectives and for a free card is a very good stats and he's also 88 rated so even if you don't like the card you could always submit in into an SBC. So now moving into Van Persie's pros and cons. Now the first thing I'm going to tell you is I did actually use this guy as a sub um, just because I think that's what most people are going to use him as. He's going to be pretty hard to fit into teams otherwise. So the first pro I could find with this card was his shooting. Now this guy's shooting is honestly insane. Um, he's so so good. Feels a lot like Maradona when it comes down to shooting. As you'll see there, this is one of the first goals I scored with him. Um, I get the ball about 40 yards out, rainbow flicker and look at that with his left foot, volley it over the goalkeeper. He didn't even try and move to save that. It was so accurate. And and powerful so moving on to the next pro what is his dribbling now this guy has really nice dribbling um, he doesn't really dribble the fastest just because um, he isn't the fastest of players but it keeps it really close to his feet and as you can see there um, it comes um, very helpful when you're in like tight areas um, to get out of those tight areas and take the shot or play the ball um, out of his feet and then moving into the final pro what is this guy's curve he has 90 curve in game and you can definitely feel that you know when you take the shots the ball does move a lot and swerve a lot in the air and that's why goal is you find it so hard to save his shots and then you also also have a few cons as well so the first con with him is his stamina he only has around 70 stamina i'm pretty sure um so around the 70th minute or so if you did start him um from the start of the match you will seem to get tired so you will have to sub him off and that's why i would recommend to use this guy as a super sub and then the final con i could find with this card was his work rates he only has medium low work rates so it does mean you just drop a bit too deep so if you're going to play much striker he seems to play more of a cam but i'm not really going to to complain about too much um, in a two strike formation um, this would probably work out pretty well so this has been the highlights now let's get into the overview So moving on into the overview, we're going to start off for value for coins and I'm going to give Robin Van Persie a 10 out of 10 just because this card is free. Um, all that you need to do, as I've already said, is complete two of those St. Patrick's Day um, weekly requirements. Enjoyment wise, I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10. This card's really fun, um, really enjoyable to use just because of how good his shooting is. Competitiveness wise, I'm going to only give him a 7 out of 10. Now the main reason is just because of that um, stamina and also because of his pace. He's not really the fastest for a striker, um, that's why I would recommend to play him in the can position. Um, scaling wise again it doesn't really have the best agi agility um, when it comes down to scaling so not really the best for scaling and then I'm going to give him an overall rating of a solid 8 out of 10. So guys if you have enjoyed this player review and want to see more FIFA 18 player reviews on my channel don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.